Assalamu alaikum everyone, hope you're all fine. Welcome back to this channel again. Today we'll be discussing uh, all the nitty gritty details of getting registered as a nurse in Dubai. This topic has been chosen on uh, the huge demand in all the chat boxes. Uh, people were asking again and again to make a video on it. So here it is. I was actually uh, waiting for some of the Pakistani nurses working there to tell us the detailed experience of working in Dubai, but it was actually not possible. Some of them uh, I found were not feeling comfortable making a video, so it's all right, no problem. I gathered some of the updated information from them uh, for you guys. So this video is mainly for Pakistani nurses aspiring to become registered nurse in Dubai. However, I would say the process is almost same for all the countries too. So anyone can go through the process. Like all other countries, Dubai is also one of them uh, facing nurse shortages which is why Dubai is paying competitive salary in the Middle East. It ranges from 5,000 to 10,000 AED depends, on, uh, depends upon your experience and your employer. It's actually very good uh, because when you apply to UK or some other European countries, you have to start from zero um, or the same level as the fresh graduate. But in Dubai, your experience is valued. You don't require to do any IELTS or OET to be registered there. Although Arabic is a national language, but uh, um, English is widely spoken around 83%. There are different um, healthcare authorities uh, all over UAE and you require to get the license by them before starting the practice in uh, Dubai as a nurse. For Dubai, it is called DHA. First of all, what are the requirements? So uh, you need BSc or GNM, both are accepted. You can apply for any roles there. If any roles you have graduated for could be nurses, midwives, uh, community nursing, pediatrics, mental health nursing, critical care, home care, or school health nursing. Two years of experience is compulsory, and it also asks for basic life sports certificate when you apply to fill the application for DHA. So here is the list of all documents you need to fulfill the application online. Number one is your white background passport site photo. Uh, number two. Um, valid passport, six month validity. Number three is your uh, birth certificate, 10, 12 mock sheets, uh, your nursing diploma, degree and transcripts, all verification from the nursing councils you registered before, certificates of your registration from all the ju jurisdictions you were registered before, like if you are registered in two different countries, references and certificates from both of them, or if you only registered with one like PNC, um, good standing from them and references as well. Uh, number eight, all of your employment reference wherever you have uh, worked before. Once you have all these documents, you can start your application to DHA website. You can go to the website and start logging in to create an account, fill the application, submit all the documents, then pay fee, which is 1100 or 1280. It depends on your documents and will be taken uh, into two steps. One is your uh, documents verification fee which is also called data flow, which is 1180, then exam fee 240 US dollar. And then last one is eligibility fee, which is 220 AD. Once you submit the application on the last page, you will get to download an uh, authorization letter to sign and upload it back. It's just a validation that you have provided all the right information to them. Then pay your fee. It will take around four to six weeks for the evaluation of your credentials after that you will receive an email for the uh, validation of your application. After validation, you will have to pay a fee for primary source verification. They will verify your education certificates, licenses and references, reference letters from all the employers. After verification, you will be required to take DHA Prometric exam and will be asked to pay another fee for the exam. This is a licensure examination of two hours long with 70 questions and you need to pass uh, taking 60%, roughly about 42 right answers. Results usually come in uh, five working days and you have three attempts to pass this exam. If you fail three times, you have to wait six months to do the verification and sit, the, uh, sit in the exam again. If you wanna know more about the exam, links in the description box below. There are prometric exam uh, centers in Pakistan where you can choose and uh, to choose, you can see the link in description box below. After passing the examination, you will apply and get eligibility letter. The letter is valid for one year. 
so you have one year to find the employer in dubai or apply again for the eligibility after that if you want to if you can't find any job now with this letter in your hand start application directly to the hospitals or online sources or agencies i particularly don't know any agency working there if you know some please leave a comment so to help others here is the list of some famous employers you can uh, check online and the links in the description box below and good luck for your application and in the end if you like this video and it helped you a bit towards your dream destination hit the subscribe button press the bell icon so you will never miss any update comment if you're still in doubt or have some questions i personally will reply you back and share with your friends to whom it will help you in your journey and see you in next video